Greetings! In this lesson, we are going to study goods transfer in 1C ERP. Today, we'll continue studying the warehouse and delivery subsystem. In our previous lessons, we have put together a model of sales order to purchase heavy boats with the condition to deliver them from our warehouse in Berlin. Based on this sales order, transfer order has been created to transfer goods from the central warehouse in Munich, where the goods are stored, to the warehouse in Berlin. The goods are transferred between the warehouses by a third-party carrier. In this lesson, we are going to complete the transfer of goods. The Munich warehouse works on the advanced warehousing scheme. The Berlin warehouse does not. We will see which documents reflect this kind of operation within the 1C ERP system. Let's first open the transfer order we have created in the previous lesson. Warehouse and delivery. Internal goods transfer. Transfer orders. In the workplace that opens, you can see all transfer orders made in the system. Here we can see each order, the shipping and the receiving warehouses, as well as status and state. The state column informs about actions made in relation to this or that order, marked in the actions field. Since in the previous lesson we have set the ship action, therefore shipment and progress is specified for this order in the state column. The delivery to our remote warehouse is carried out by the shipping company Vega Trans. We can create an instruction for shipping agents for them based on the transfer order. We can create one document based on the other, not only from the document itself, just like we did with our previous orders and with purchase of goods and services, but also right from the document list. Select our transfer order, press Create on the basis, and select Instruction for Shipping Agent from the pop-up menu. A document opens which already contains information about the shipping of the receiving warehouse, as well as the delivery date. We specify the required information, which the responsible manager should set. This document can be printed out and given to a shipping agent. Post the document. Now let's study the document flow scheme between our two warehouses, the one which works on the advanced warehousing scheme and the other, which uses simple document flow. But let's first analyze another warehouse report, which shows current availability of the product. Open the Warehouse and Delivery, Warehouse Reports menu. Find the Stock Balance and Availability report. In order to view availability at a certain warehouse, you need to choose this warehouse. Specify Central Warehouse. The date option is not given, because the report will be run for the current date. Press Run Report. We can see that two items which have been previously selected for transfer in the previous lesson are being shipped now in accordance with the state. There is also an information about goods which are expected to be dropped out from the warehouse. As we remember, in case the advanced warehousing, like the one in our Munich branch, a logistics manager should order a vehicle to deliver the goods to the warehouse in Munich and issue financial documents for the transfer, and the warehouse manager should ship the goods to a carrier and issue a warehouse note. These processes can take place simultaneously. A logistics manager orders a vehicle that arrives to the warehouse where a warehouse manager ships the goods and a logistics manager issues a financial document for transfer. Let's now go to the warehouse manager's workplace. In one of the previous lessons, we have learned how the goods are accepted at the warehouse. Let's now see how the goods are shipped from the advanced warehouse. Open the following menu. Warehouse and delivery. Advanced warehouse. Shipment. The workplace opens. We need to specify central warehouse. In the top part, we can see an objective. A warehouse manager can double-click the goods transfer order and see all the information. In order to ship goods in 1C ERP, a warehouse manager should select the transfer task and press Create Notes. At the bottom of the workplace, a goods issue note has appeared with the prepared status. Open this document. On the main tab, you can see where the goods are being shipped to and from. 
On the Goods by References tab, you can see the amount of goods being shipped and the reference. On the Ship Goods tab, a warehouse manager can perform actions in relation to each item being shipped. There are three actions available – Pick, Ship and Do not ship. We need to use Ship. Generally, there are the following statuses for the document – Prepared, for Picking, for Checking, Verified, for Shipment and Shipped. These statuses describe business operations which a warehouse manager performs to ship goods from the warehouse. In our example, set the ship status for the document. Press post and close. As you can see, the shipment task that was at the top of the workplace disappeared. And in the bottom part, the goods issue note now has the status of shipped. A logistics manager can now open a goods transfer order. Warehouse and delivery, internal goods transfer, transfer orders. As we can see, the transfer order is now in the shipment in progress state. Create document goods transfer based on the order. Information on warehouses, goods and delivery based on the order has been filled. The document can have two statuses, shipped and received. The received status is assigned by a receiving department. Therefore, we now assign the ship status and post the document. Let's open stock balance and availability one more time. Run the report for Central Warehouse. As we can see, the amount of two heavy boat models decreased as they were shipped from the warehouse. The next lesson is going to be devoted to goods acceptance at the remote warehouse.